What is up guys, I want Dix here, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about 100 Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Java Edition's secret tips and tricks. So let's get right into this thing. Alrighty, so first of all, we got the cauldron potion thingy. So did you guys know that you can put throwable potions in cauldrons? And once you do that, then it becomes a normal glass bottle. Now here's a more interesting fact. So, if you were to put a lingering potion in there and use a bottle that used to be a throwable potion then it will become a lingering potion so it looks like the potion inside remembers what bottle it came from foxes with frost walker actually works if you go to the end and activate these two pistons at the same time then this will happen now here's the even more crazy part if you place down a block right here and here and deactivate these pistons then this will happen in Minecraft 1.18, you can set block a frog egg in the middle of the water and it will still hatch. Just like this. You can make a beacon with all these blocks combined. Even netherite will work, but without one netherite, the beacon will turn off. If a baby animal dies, it does not drop anything. However, if a baby salmon dies, then it drops a fish item. The gray carpet also comes with glasses on llamas. In the nether, only dandelion grows. Same with the end, only dandelion grows. Number 10, this is what darkness plus night vision looks like. Bam and bam. And if you look at torches or any light sources, it looks like this. The rail on the left is faster than the rail on the right. You can pretty much set block carrot on anywhere and it will grow pretty much on any surfaces and same with beetroot, potatoes and everything else. From 1.18, mobs inside of glass will still have AIs. You can put water and lava and make it touch each other. Putting a flower and then putting top snow and breaking the bottom block will give an illegal top snow. You could place some blocks through glass and iron bars. A lot of people do not know this, but it is possible to make an android with using these two items. It is also possible to make purple block with using the pop chorus fruit. Farmland can transmit resin signal. Did you guys also know that withered roses can give you a black dye? So there's a way to turn gravel into dirt. So place down just like this and then make a coarse dirt and then use a wooden hoe to make it into a dirt block. Hose can mine leaves faster. The snowball and the end pearl has the same trajectory. Hopper has a texture error and you gotta stand at a place to see it. Like this, it has a little bit of a gap. The crossbow also has a texture error. The player is not holding the crossbow. End rolls melt snow. Also, activated end portal will melt snow too. It somehow generates heat. However, no matter how many candles you place down, Candles do not melt snow. You guys also know that water breathing potion can save you from suffocating to death. This is what happens if a pillager holds a normal banner. It becomes invisible. This is what happens if a TNT meets an anvil. You can use beds and nether to light up a nether portal. If you get hit by your own trident, then you do not get damaged in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Bees do not get damaged by anvil. Honey block allows you to walk on the side of the block. Snow golems can drop up to 15 snowballs. That is more than you use to make a snow golem. Llama spit can be set on fire and it will damage the player way more. Magma blocks can also support fire just like netherrex. Zoglins attack armor stands. Baby zoglins will never grow up. If a hoglin eats a crimson fungus and turns into a zoglin, then it will never despawn. Banners are the only blocks that will break the 320 blocks limit. Wither Roses has one more use and that is by using it to breed bees. If there's full moon, half of the cats spawning will be black. Piglins can open and close doors. You cannot place on a cactus underwater. However, if you use this trick by left clicking and right clicking at the same time, then you can place on a cactus. Blazes take damages with snowballs, but not with snow. This is what a blaze with invisibility potion effect looks like. 
it still shows the smoke. Blazes can do melee damage. In Bedrock Edition, it is possible to do an 8 block jump by using Electra and Slow Potion effect. It is pretty much falling reverse. 51. You can have painting and a chest in the same block. Pigs can breathe through glasses. If you mine an extinguished campfire and place it down, then it will somehow magically summon a lit campfire. Squid will stop moving once the player goes into the spectator mode. It takes a little while, but they will stop moving just like this. And once the player goes back into survival or creative mode, they will start moving. The dispenser dispenses the wooden skeleton skull just like a normal item if the wooden frame base is not complete. However, if it is complete, then it will place on the block. Dispensers can also dispense a shulker block. Villagers sweat before raids. If you go too far above while it's raining, then the rain will look like this. Once the wither's health goes down below 50%, then it will have a texture surrounding the wither. But what is this texture actually? Well, it turns out it's the wither's head. If a wither skeleton has a bow, then it will shoot flaming arrows even without enchantment. Wither skeletons are the only mobs that can spawn naturally on top of wither roses. Chickens are breedable with any seeds. I don't know why this is a thing, but once you give one panda a bamboo, then the rear end will go up. You could cure baby villagers on chicken and it will look something like this after you cure it. It looks ridiculous. Iron bars and bed will speed up the process of the villager getting cured. The guardian's head looks like the prismarine blocks. If a guardian dies while it's on fire, then it will drop a cooked cod. Even if the player is invisible, the Guardian will always track the player. Spiders are the only mobs that do a 180 degrees flip when it dies. If you break a player's head, the soul sand particle drops. Zombies are a little bit taller than players. You could put azaleas on your head. In Minecraft, you could do this to fill up water real quick. Bam! Zombies cannot jump over azaleas. You could use fire items to light up a portal. You could even use a lightning bolt. Giants will not turn into drones. Instead, they'll get damaged just like the old zombies. Creepers can still detect invisible cats. Only black cats spawn in Witch Hut. The fuller the moon, the higher chance skeletons and zombies have the ability to pick up items and spawn with weapons and armor. Furthermore, there is a higher chance for the equipments to be enchanted. And if it is, the enchantment levels are higher. A fuller moon also gives spiders a greater chance to spawn with random beneficial status effect, including invisibility. Your FOB drops while you're in the water. Armor stands can ride ladders. Armor stands try to breathe underwater. So you see this little uh, particle effect? That means the armor stands are trying to breathe underwater. Armor sands get damaged when it's on top of the campfire. However, if the armor sand is on the campfire and also in the water, then it will not get damaged. Saplings can grow anywhere, even on air. The dripstone is climbable. One, two, three, and four. You could jump on this and still survive. Same with this one, but this one is carpet instead of trapdoors. Did you guys know that you can make the most hated block in Minecraft by using this? And then also, if you use this, then you can make a granite, and if you use this, then you can make andesite. You could damage wither with health potion. If a red sheep and a blue sheep breathe together, then they will get a purple sheep. A cobweb can block sunlight, even leaves, but for some reason, chests cannot block sunlight. You can sleep near a passive zombie piglin. If a piglin with a crossbow turns into a zombie piglin, then it will still have the crossbow. However, it does not know how to use it, so it uses it as a melee weapon. The amethyst clusters have a really interesting animation. Check this out. Now this one is really pretty, I like this one. Brown mushrooms emit a light level of 1. If there's a thunderstorm, all the foxes will run to the coordinates of 0 and 0. Just like this. 
So yeah, that was it for today for you guys. And lastly, if you wanna see more 100 Minecraft secrets and tips and tricks, then go ahead and check out this video out. But other than that, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.